Yeah, Donald Trump is playing in the Pro-Am today he with is. Bryson DeChambeau and I believe Dustin Johnson. I, I don't know who's going to close out that. Is he a scratch time. golfer? Um, he is, right? I believe They're that, all good uh, golfers. I, I, think I know he's, the other ones I know are. he's the greatest golfing president ever. Really? Athletic. That's what I've heard. Yeah. Hmm, I thought for a second we lived in North Korea. It's the greatest ever. Athletic. True God. Um, but anyway, uh, if look, we've occasionally wondered about the relationship between Fox and Friends and Trump. Are they starting to get a little bit of distance? Are they starting to move towards DeSantis? They might be prepping the way, but they are also very sensitive to his hissy fits. He had one recently because of some polls that they read. And so they're trying to lure him back in, in only the most shallow and guaranteed to work fashion. Just say that he's athletic, say that he's a great golfer. But I wanna I wanna actually dive into it. You know, it's a Friday, let's have some fun. How was he at golfing in that you know, Saudi back fundraiser, whatever thing that he was doing? Um, well, we have uh, some news from the scene. Trump's opening drive bounded into the left rough, but it was a respectable distance from the tee for a 76 year old, roughly 220 yards. Really fast, Brett. I am not a golfer. 220 yards, that is impressive, correct? Not really. I mean, no? it's fi I hit the ball like 235, okay, like maybe You're 240. You're not 70. <laughs> so, so the thing about Donald Trump is he's got one of those old man swings. Like I played a lot of golf. You're looking at a guy who's like number seven in the mission league in high school. So I, I know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, he, he can move his back still and he can swing the club and he hits the ball in. Like he's a good golfer okay. Uh, okay. by all accounts and he's 70 years old. Um, but yeah, and I hit it 230 and I'll play with people and they'll just freaking fly right by me. Like yeah. random like Timmy's will hit it past me. Like that it's happened more the short months. game that makes me the expert I am. Um, it is, and we're gonna have terms you play of Trump at some point. No, so I wanna give you some more details before okay. we get your reaction. So overall, uh, the personality has to come through and it does in the same way as when hanging out with world leaders. Take a look at this. After hitting a second shot to the green, Trump ignored other players in his group who had yet to hit and jumped into his cart and roared ahead. He parked within a few feet of the putting surface. Apparently that's a no-no because it could damage the short grass in that area. Standing in the fairway half a hole behind Trump, Dustin Johnson yelled ahead since he had yet to play a second shot and could have beamed the former president near the green. In the future, I'm not great on uh, etiquette for golf, but don't feel like you have to give the warning. Anyway, he had also not finished a hole after his blast from a bunker failed to reach the green and was in some nasty rough. He had his caddy pick up the ball and march to the next tee. He was just done, he didn't play anymore. On another hole, when a birdie putt rolled nearly six feet past the hole, he scooped the ball up to end the hole, conceding himself a par, it was just up to him. At other times, a Trump missed hit would simply be ignored. As if understanding the drill, his caddy would retrieve the golf ball from the sand or deep rough and walk forward. It does sound fun to play that way. No consequences, like with the DOJ. That that sums up everything you need to know about the guy. And they tell you know if you play golf, they're like you know a lot about you'll you get to know someone very well by playing golf with them. Whether they mm -hmm. cheat, whether they hate themselves, whether they're relaxed, whether they can hang out and have a nice conversation, drink a few beers while you're playing. Yeah. Um, but Donald Trump, we didn't learn anything. We knew all this about him. He's a giant man baby who <laughs> uh, messes up. And whenever he when he hits a good shot, he pretends that's how he always plays. And when he hits a bad shot, he pretends it never happened. Yeah. And that's consistent with something I think everybody should go watch. There's a real time clip from like 2018 where Billy Bush says, yeah, Trump literally took me aside and said, just say whatever you want, they'll believe it. And that's what it comes down to on his scorecard, yeah. I, I guarantee you. Yeah, no, I, look, I. It's sad, you know, because I'm sure he would love to actually be great. He can't necessarily be as great as like me. Like I'm actually ranked top 10 tennis in California for all ages in all groups. Most people don't know that, but you can look it up and it's not there yet, but you should put it there and then other people will find it when you do. So anyway, um, yes, I, I have no doubt that he would beat me. Much more interesting question of how he would do going up against Brett. Perhaps we can make that happen at some point. In any event, we hit level five, so we gotta get that bronzer. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.